Alright, so what is good everybody? This is of course your boy B Bullet RC coming at you guys again with yet another video. Listen, the weekend is almost over or it is already over depending on when you're watching. So you already know what that means. It's time to get into this week's Heat or Hype where we get into the latest sneaker releases, sneaker rumors, or anything I want to talk about in the sneaker or shoe world world. That is what we do here today. And remember, if I don't talk about a shoe, either I forgot about it, didn't edit it in, or it was just that. Basura. That. I didn't want to expose you to it, but I mean, come on. You know me. You know how I do. I'm going to expose you to This week, we have a ton. And when I say a ton, like 20 plus, probably 25 plus shoes to get into. More heat, more leaks, more Basuda. And, and this week's Basuda, we're not me talking about the world heavyweight Basuda champ, you know, Balenciaga. But we do have another uh, big B to talk about. And then we also had another random piece of Basuda to get into. I'm going to be taking y'all with me to Water World, but uh, you will see that. As always, make sure you drop a like on this bit. We have to please the algorithm gods. Finesse the bell if you haven't already, and sub up, what are you doing? Now, let's get into this week's Heat or Hype. First things first, I want to let y'all know that your new favorite cargo pants just dropped on SampleIND.com. That is the Paratrooper V2 joints. Now, this is in like a mocha brown. And since this is the V2 version, we went ahead and changed the bottom. We did a zipper down there. That way, if you want the leg opening to be smaller or larger, you can go ahead and adjust it, making these pants, you know, you can make them loose or you can make them a little bit tighter, even with the elastic bands at your shin, like right underneath your knee. The main thing for these cargos is having that customizable kind of adjustable fit. So whatever you're wearing, you can kind of adapt the pants to that. I'll put it like this, out of the last five days, I've worn these brown pants three times. I'm actually wearing them right now. I want to let y'all know before any more sizes sell out, link is down below. Check it out if that's something that will interest you okay i hope y'all ready we got a lot to get into first off we got two brand new releases from union both the argon that is the blue pair and the royal which is the yellow and purple joints these dunk lows are dropping on march 31st now i'm assuming that this drop isn't going to be too different from the previous union drop on the pistachio dunk lows so just be paying attention to union socials i'm sure they'll put the link out on their site or their instagram their twitter somewhere like that you go through add your sizes do the capture hopefully nothing fails and you can get your size so good luck on those the 31st is the date another drop for the 31st we actually got two pair of Sakai and Nike Blazer Lows. We got this white joint and this black pair. Now, these should be retail for 120 and I believe they are going to be dropping on Nike sneakers. You know, it's a Sakai release everywhere they dropped before. That's probably where they're going to drop again. Up next on April 1st, we have the Halloween Dunk dropping. Yes, the Halloween Dunks are dropping on April Fool's Day. The retail needs should be 110 This is a shoe that we've known about and seen since Halloween and since before Halloween, and they are finally dropping again on April Fool's Day. Another one that should be dropping on April 1st, we have the Adidas Crazy One, or you know, the Kobe joints right here, the Crazies pair. Now this is the Sunshine Yellow joints, and again, they should be dropping on April 1st. There is no retail on this pair just yet. The day after on April 2nd for a retail of 200 off the hip, which is a lot higher than the regular 170 for Jordan ones, but this is the Air Jordan One High 85 Georgetown. Now this is a good colorway of the 85s. I do have the neutral gray 85s. This one right here, I will probably end up passing on if I don't get it for retail. This is not a shoe that I would pay resale for, but for retail, I'll take a pair. And again, those drop on the 2nd of April. For the first leak this week, slide bars, we got a Civilist Air Force One Low. Y'all know we got the Civilist SBs last year. Those are hard. And we have the same thing going on this pair of forces. That heat reactive upper, still a dope look. Now this is a fresh leak, fresh rumor, no release date or retail on these just yet. But when I get that info, I will let y'all know. Up next, we got some LeBron news. And I feel like y'all LeBron collectors are kind of eating right now because these colorways are retroing. Some of them going under retail, going for a little bit over retail. And this was stuff that just cost so much, went for so much on that secondhand resale market. And now they just retroing them over and over again. And it's just a lot of easy dub. And another one that's on the way is the Fruity Pebble P. Yes, the LeBron Force should be dropping once again 
later on this year. Expected release date is sometime in holiday of 2022. So again, another fresh leak. Uh, we'll probably have to wait a few months before we get some leaked images of these, but when I get them, I'll make sure to let y'all know. This week, we also got some more Jordan Lee salutes to these sneaker heads. Again, Sneaker Illuminati just got the mock-ups, got the info. I'm going to get into it. First one being an Air Jordan 13 in University Blue. Now, this is a holiday 2022 release. More specifically, should be in December, and it's a black in University Blue Air Jordan 13. Reminds me of when they did the CP3 joints. Other than that, I really don't have a lot. These ones aren't really pulling me like that. It's not something I'm like, yo, I got the cop but they are on the way we also finally got some images of these air Jordan threes in desert elephant it's basically a black cement three but the elephant print on the front and the back on the heel is a brown deserty color and from these pictures it's not horrible the leather on the upper seems pretty decent but I don't, I'm not sure on that brown just yet. For someone like me who does luckily have the black cement threes, this wouldn't be on the top of my cop list, but I would like to see this pair in hand and give y'all my final thoughts then. Y'all let me know though, are y'all digging these joints right here? Of course, we got a few Yeezys on the list this week. First off is this granite Yeezy 500. Now these should be dropping in May for that regular retail of I believe, I think 210 or 220. I'm pretty sure it is 210 for Yeezy 500s. They're gray Yeezy 500s. Um, yeah. And then just like Yeezys, you cannot escape a new pair of dunks. Now this colorway I do like, it is a dunk low and that is this UCLA pair. These are clean. Reminds me of the Midas dunks that I was able to grab. And I think this is a solid colorway, a solid cop at retail. Hopefully the resale, it has been coming down and down and down on these dunks. And hopefully it's not that bad if you do need that delayed dub after they drop. There's no official release date yet, but since we have the official photos, I would say within the next two, three months. It's probably gonna be a spring and summer colorway. We'll see these joints drop. Back to some Yeezy news. The glow green Yeezy slides in full family sizing should be restocking this spring 2022. So within the next month or two, that restock should be happening. We begin a lot of restocks of Yeezy foam runners, Yeezy slides, and that totally makes sense because those are some of the best shoes for spring, summer. Jumping back into some LeBron news, the LeBron 2 USA, again, LeBron collectors, you got another retro. They should be dropping sometime in September of this year, 2022. This is another new leak, so I just wanna let y'all know. Back to some J news, on April 30th, we should be getting this Brave Blue or this Navy Blue pair of Air Jordan 13s. I just call them Brave Blue because you had the Brave Blue 13 lows, and these are just just a high top version of that and these should be retailing at 200 again on april 30th and then next up we had another jordan league now this is that military black pair of air jordan fours just like the military blues these are the same thing they're just black instead of blue and it's not a bad colorway would i rather have the military blue yes and there was a rumor that those should be dropping sometime this year but hey who knows what's happening now this week we also got some supreme and nike news first off being the nike zoom flight 95s the jason kids there is a blue pair that popped up a blue bandana joint and this is a supreme collab now with these, there aren't a lot of photos. This is the first images that we're getting of them. And we already know how this works. We knew the Jason kids were already dropping and usually what they do is they drop them with a collab, then they drop the OG colorways. And we could see this collab pair come out before the OG joints. Now in addition to the Zoom Flight 95s, we also got an image of a Supreme Nike Blazer, which with how popular the Nike Blazer is and has been for the past year and a half, two years, I think that this is going to be a shoe that a lot of people go for. But once again, this is a rumor. This is a leak. It could drop. It could not drop. I always got to let y'all know. So right now, I'm just waiting for more info, any release date, any more colorways, and I'll update y'all. Another big one for the LeBron collectors out there, the LeBron Palmers. Yes, we have some official photos for the retro that should be happening at some point this year. Another fresh LeBron leak, so no release date yet. LeBron collectors, like I said, y'all are eating this year. Next up, we got two brand new pairs of dunks on the way. I included them together because they're kind of similar. Now, first off, we have this graffiti joint, which y'all can see right here. We have official photos for, and it has kind of like this 
raw edge purples pink spray paint of course graffiti look on these and then in addition to that one we also have bland these joints right here which are more of a red black and gray i believe there's a reflective swoosh on these one as well and i don't know if this is going to be some type of graffiti pack but the two of these were similar so i want to make sure i include them both together as far as a release date for either one we don't have that info just yet for the first bit of jordan 2 news for this week because we got some big news coming up later we have this air jordan 2 low and this responsibility colorway all over black the midsole seems to be I don't know if it's a crazy hairy suede or what it is, but it does look cool. I like that look. And then on the insole, it does have a tag where it says Air Jordan presents responsibility. Wear your shoes, show the world where you've been. Peace, love, and respect. So they're kind of promoting, hey, instead of letting these joints sit and resell them, hey, actually put these joints on and wear them out. No release date on this pair just yet, and it doesn't seem like this is a collab, this is a straight up JB colorway. After the two, of course, comes the three, and this week we got those leaked images of the Neapolitan Air Jordan 3, which is something that we had mock-ups of, and now I'm just updating y'all and seeing, blam, this is actually what the shoe should look like. Very, very similar to a Mocha 3, but with that Neapolitan makeup, so it has a little bit of pink in there. It's got the red for the cherry down there on the Jordan logo on the outsole. And the midsole kind of has that aged cream look as well. Not a bad pair of threes, and these, I would assume, are going to sell out for sure. And then another pair of threes on the way is this Dark Iris Air Jordan 3, which again, same story with the Neapolitans. We had the mock-ups and now we have those leaked images and this is what the shoe should look like and the mock-ups was pretty spot on. Salutes so again to Z Sneakerheads on that. And I'm gonna keep it a buck on this dark iris pair as I always do with y'all. This is a pretty eh, meh colorway on the three. Pretty easy pass to me. And then we got another pair of threes. This is another leak. This time just a mock-up and this is the Brownstone Air Jordan 3. Another one via Z Sneakerheads and I'm interested in these because it seems like for the mock-up, he used a pair of cool gray threes. The entire upper is that brown stone kind of feel. On the midsole, you got that gray back there on the heel, and then the rest of it is still that cream off-white look, and I am interested. Definitely digging these, even from the mock-ups, more than something like the dark iris threes. Now for the next one, for the guy who hates on tan Yeezy 350s, I always talk about them, this pair ain't bad. I would actually say it's a good colorway, and that is this beige black pair of 350 V2s, and these should be dropping sometime later this year in 2022. What can I say? Listen, you got me with this one. It is a tan 350, but the black stripe, the way that the outsole looks, the just overall colorway, it does look good. I'ma leave my tan Yeezy 350 hate at the door for this one. When I get that release date, I'll let y'all know. Up next on September 3rd for retail a 200 off the hip, we have the Air Jordan 6 Georgetown. All over gray suede. Another one where we just had the mockers before, and now we have that leaked image. And I mean, they look good. It's a six all over gray suede with that blue on the sole. In my opinion, if you ask me, I think this is a solid colorway, but we're gonna have to wait a little bit until I can actually get these in hand for a review. After those, we have this Mason Chateau Rogue, I believe that's how you say it, Air Jordan 2. Now this one kind of gives me in the mind frame of like a do the right thing colorway, and I actually do like these Air Jordan 2s. We got some on feet foes of them right here. We have a lot of twos on the way. I'm kind of surprised that the I'm on my year twos haven't dropped yet because we've been seeing them joints. They just need to go ahead and drop them. We had the responsibility ones that we talked about earlier, and now we have the Mason Chateau Road Pair. So a lot of twos on the way. Okay, it is time to get into this week's official Basuda of the Week. And I got two heavy hitters for you. Now this first one, I tell you all the time, just because it's Basuda doesn't mean you can't like it. You can like some trash, okay? And this first one I have been tagged so many times for it is from the Big B, not Balenci, but Ballman Blam, y'all see him right here. Now there are a few different colorways of this shoe and all I wanna know is can I iron my clothes with it? Is this a speedboat or is this a sneaker? Did they time travel these back from the year 3025 Ballman? Because that's the feeling I get when I look at these. There is a lot going on with this shoe, but would you believe me if I said I think that this is a better version of another Balmain sneaker that I've seen while looking at these that I might have to go in on 
next week. I'm sure some of y'all might have seen these on your socials. Again, a lot of y'all tagged me on these ones. So they are going to be on the Basuda of the week. But don't be surprised if maybe they pop up in the studio. I do like them. I would like to see these. Yes, I'm definitely on my weird shit, my Basuda shit with these. But uh, Balmain, y'all got something... Y'all got something interesting with these. Balmain, Balmain, whatever. Y'all got something interesting with these. They still are Basuda though, don't, don't get me wrong. And then the next bit of Basuda, another one y'all were tagging me in, sending me in the DMs, telling me, yo, check these out. I'm gonna put them up right here. Slam. Now this. these are the Water Sax 3s. Not really. <laughs> now this pair of shoes right here is actually made by a creator on Instagram, an artist on Instagram, a Basuda sculptist that goes by the name of Canyon. And it's some really crazy stuff that's on their page. I wanna know what Somebody can I put this. in these joints and can I actually walk around in them? How long can I wear these joints? Can I sip some water out of them? I don't know, when I see these, they just kinda looked dirty to me, you know? <laughs> Something about the water on the socks with the feet, it just, I don't know, it made me cringe a little bit. Listen, Canyon, Canyon, if I mess up your name, my bad. These shits is basura, but, but I still wanna make sure I'm giving people's flowers when it is kinda creative. It is creative. I think that these are, they're kinda cool. Basuda, but kind of cool. Listen, this year, I'm going to talk my shit, but I'm going to give my flowers here and there. So, that was the Basuda for this week. Y'all let me know what is worse. The Big B Ball this. Main Iron 3s in the building. The Speedboat 5. Or the Water Sax, a.k.a. the Fiji Water 15s. Y'all let me know what was the worst Basuda this week. Now, can we go ahead and get these shits up off my screen, bro? Thank you. So, we can go ahead and get back to the heat, bro. For the first one, I am very happy to say that more protection pack new balances are on the way. Slight bars, blam, y'all see them right here. And we have six different colorways. I would say my favorite would be the orange joints, kind of that purple one, as well as the two-tone blue pair. You know, I have that white distress pair as well. I seen those, and eh, I don't know. And then the top two, you know, they're kind of more regular protection pack colorways, but I still love the protection pack shoes, so I would say fire as well. But I'm gonna need them purple slash pink joints for sure. No release date on any of these 2002 hours yet, but more protection pack is good to me. Hey, I will take a few pairs. Now this next one is a fresh, 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 fresh off the press leak. We are getting two pairs of Air Jordan 11s this year. Uh, let me say this again. Leak, rumor, could happen, could not happen. Okay, back to the hype talk. We are getting two pairs of Air Jordan 11s this year, supposedly, allegedly. And as y'all can see right here, it is a Midnight Navy Air Jordan 11. Now, these should be dropping on Black Friday. So, you're going to have a Black Friday 11 as well as a holiday December pair of 11, which is the Cherry 11s that we talked about a few months ago. And although this is a simple colorway for the 11s, it still seems to be a pretty solid pair. Since this is such a fresh leak, when I get more info, I will let y'all know. Another big story this week, we have three more pair of ALD 550s on the way. Now we have an olive joint, a brown and white, as well as a white and dark purple Amelion Door 550s on the way. I would definitely say my favorite is the dark purple joints. You got the cream hits on the shoe, simple, clean, just good execution. It's ALD, y'all know how they do. No set and solid release date for these 550s yet, but since we have the official photos, it probably is gonna be pretty soon. Now let's get into some of that big news for this week. First off being the OG Air Jordan 2s dropping in October of this year, 2022. I mentioned before, when you start seeing collabs on a shoe that we haven't seen in a while, you usually are gonna get that OG colorway and blam, the 2s. We got a whole bunch of collabs, new colorways, and now the original pair should be dropping. In addition to just the original colorway, it should be coming with an original like box, booklet like throwback just like they did the og high 85 joints it should be pretty similar to the air jordan one release so the og twos are going to be back on their way later on this year and for the news that kind of just when i seen it i've seen so many people talking about it the og chicago ones returning later on this year now let me be more specific they are being called an air jordan one reimagined 
Now, from what I've been seeing, it should be a vintage looking pair of Chicago ones from 85, maybe like the sail cream midsole, basically an aged looking Air Jordan 1 dropping sometime later this year, or it could be just like the neutral grade. The last time the Chicago's dropped was back in 20. I remember walking in the Foot Locker and buying my pair for retail and it really wasn't hard at all. Fast forward to this year in 2022, it is a totally different story to Chicago. The price has gone so crazy. So whether you just want the shoe for the toe or for the dough, everyone will be going for Chicago Air Drill ones if they do return this year. This is a story that I will be making sure to follow closely. And when I have any updates, I will let y'all know. Anyways, make sure y'all go ahead and drop a like on this bid. We have to please the algorithm gods. Finesse the bell as well. And make sure you are subbed up if you haven't already. Let me know what three sneakers you're looking forward to on this week's list. Did you copy thing this week? Hey, Talk to me, scream at me down below in the comments. Much love to all the fam followers and of course supporters. You guys can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, SoundCloud, Twitch. The Twitch is BoldRC, by the way, here. They're buzz by, of course. I don't feel like going back there to grab some shoes, so I got these right here. BoldRC, and I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Much love. This video is going to take a long ass time to edit. I hope y'all enjoy. Peace. If you come here and try to take some, there's a lot more where that came from, and it really ain't no thing. I got some up here in this thing. I just dropped the jig in my Red Bull, and it really gave me wings. Yeah, yeah, up and away. Y'all should have seen this shit.